Rhode Islanders had never seen anything like it. The Mount Hope Bridge proclaimed a feat of great engineering skill. The largest suspension bridge in New England at the time, 6,130 feet long, a main span of 1,200 feet, with its main towers standing 283 feet above water level. The Providence Journal described this bridge this day as a graceful network of steel climbing skyward and carrying a cement roadway at the top. It opened to traffic amid much fanfare, including Governor Norman Case of Rhode Island and Senator William Vanderbilt of Portsmouth being inducted into the National Algonquin Indian Council this day. They had conferred upon them the Indian titles of Chief Lightfoot and Wanamatonomy. The bridge was christened by Miss Marion Irene Smith of Newport, the ribbon cutting by Mrs. Rita Barbara Callan of Bristol and Nancy Weaver Thompson of Newport. The Mount Hope Bridge was modeled after the Brooklyn Bridge, but ironically it was not a moneymaker because five days after the bridge opened, the big stock market crash occurred and a few years later, the company that owned the bridge went out of business. The bridge was actually in private hands for a while before being sold to the Turnpike and Bridge Authority years later.